Yo, what is going on? Real quick, I just want to give you guys my tier list um, for Solo Q RBG Blitz. Um, this has nobody else's inputs other than mine. And this is for the sole purpose of the ability to solo carry. Okay? Has nothing to do with duo, has nothing to do with fucking. Oh, but they're strong. I don't care. This has everything to do with solo carry potential. Because nobody cares about what the numbers are at the end of the game. They just care about if they want or not. Okay. Um, real quick, an Affliction Warlock. Okay. I'm not going to get into too much detail about this shit. I'm just going to play some where I think. Um, I think with Affliction, um, I think A tier. Arcane, um, before Affliction. Uh, Warrior... I haven't really seen it a whole lot. Sometimes it just fucking rips. Um, but overall, I don't think Warrior has as much um, damage on the field. Not damage, but like potential to carry. Uh, Beast Smasher, I haven't seen much. Boomy, fucking S tier. Everybody knew that was coming. Put that tank there, put that tank there. Um, haven't seen Demonology like at all. Um, fucking another Warlock. Eh, I, I, I want to kind of put it above war. Ah, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Healer. Uh, Ellie. I mean, this shit is fucking... This shit is pumping, right? But it doesn't have potential to solo carry. Yes, it does a shit ton of damage. Um, but, I mean, like, against, like, an Arcane, I, I think this is reasonably fit. Assassin. I'd probably go with something like this. Yeah, their CC is good. Their damage is good. You know, yada, yada, yada. Right? But versus like a subtlety rogue, uh, for purpose of solo carrying, I don't think assassin is above it. Uh, dragon, I mean, it does a lot of damage, but I mean, it doesn't really provide too much else. Ellie, haven't seen this much. Feral, fucking dog. Fire, it kind of got gutted after the nerfs. Mage, I think mage has a lot of potential to solo carry. Because look, CC and heals. A shit ton of CC. A shit ton of sustain in CC, right? And a shit ton of damage, right? You're, you're kind of noticing this trend here. Frosty K, this shit is kind of pumping, I'm not going to lie. Um, they can definitely slow down an EFC if it's getting across the map. Um, and they can probably defend a little bit. Um, Warrior, honestly, I mean, it's kind of just the same with the other version of Warrior. Uh, Guardian. Guardian is going to be one of my... Uh, Top, more upper tiers of tanks um right behind tank demon hunter okay i think tank demon hunter is a s tier of tanks and then guardian only reason being is because guard or tank demon hunter they can't get slowed um when they're leaping so if you have six stacks on flag you know you can still leap across the fucking the map and it doesn't matter right um dps Demon Hunter, I think, is a very high contender, man. This shit does a lot of damage, but it also has um, very large amounts of 1v2 outplays. Um, can cap with stun into fear. Um, can cap really great uh, base setter, priest, holy. Um, this hunter, fucking marksman, kind of pumps. Not gonna lie. Mistweaver. Mistweaver is fucking goaded right now, dude. Um, really strong but i would have to say i think dragon might be a little ahead honestly these are pretty much the damn same okay um they're kind of the same both can fc this is a little bit better fc but i mean the healing for this is really crazy but this one has more mo mobility i think i'm gonna play smithsweaver ahead of it warrior man there's like one dude that was queuing uh tank warrior at the beginning um a little troll man a little troll um monk tank not too bad with the ports um but just not as good as a guardian or a demon hunter right prot fucking pally see you later our shaman i really haven't seen too much um but i would probably have to say this is probably decent right because i mean these classes don't really have as much mobility and mobility is everything <clears throat> our druid our druid is a very strong contender i don't I'm, I may put it in front of Dragon because, I mean, shit, CC like crazy, Trance can spin, it can uh, fucking stealth. I mean, this is a really high contender for healing if you're trying to get into it. Rhett, I'm going to put in front of Warrior. I mean, they're really, actually, 
I don't know. I might have to go up here because I'm thinking about it. They do a shit ton of damage, but they also have bubble, right? This shit, a good ret can spin a base forever. Do I think you're going to solo carry a game? No, probably not. Um, I would take your base. As priest, haven't really seen it too much. Um, probably going to go behind Affliction. Maybe just, you know, ballpark these two together. Survival Hunter, haven't seen it too much. But when it does show up, it kind of rips, man. Um, they randomly just do a shit ton of damage, dude. In a 1v1 situation, great base sitter. Um, now that I think about it, uh, pet, you know, the, the good survival hunters are good. I'll say that, okay? I just don't see them too often. Unholy, really good, slowing everything down. Um, a windwalker, eh, I, you just don't have anything, dude, really. I, I, you're just not doing too much. This fucking spec... You're not doing too much, right? These four classes and these two healers here, I think, and these two tanks, right? This section here and this section here, I think have the largest potential to climb. I think you'll see all of these classes being at the higher end of um, RBG Blitz, right? I think you'll see just all of these classes near the top. Um, Arcane, I mean, it kind of depends on buffs, right? Frost could get gutted. Arcane could go up. Arcane has a lot of CC, but the double block with Pet is just too strong to pass up for S tier, and it does a shit ton of damage right now. Uh, Demon Hunter, like I said, huge 1v1 potentials, 1v2. Uh, great team fight, really fast on the map. Um, I mean, if you're playing these classes the full potential, uh, you're carrying. You're definitely carrying. Um... I feel pretty good about this. I mean, they just do a shit ton of damage. A little bit of off healing. Hex is really good. Um, the totem is really good. Assassin, you're just fucking sitting in team fight pumping, man. I really haven't seen a good assassin worthy of putting S tier, to be honest. I just haven't. Rhett, I mean, dude, I might have to put Rhett above assassin. I mean, Rhett is just pumping numbers, uh, but they can also sit a base really good. Just not nearly as good as my S tier. Survival Hunter... I think if it was played more by really good ones, it could be an S tier. I really do think so. Um, but as it, what, the way it sits, I just don't see them too often. Um, but when I do, they pump. DKs, I mean, you're just slowing down the FC, cranking a lot of numbers in, in fucking mid. Really good base sitter, just really slow. Like, no mobility. Maybe with the fucking mount shit coming up next expansion, could see it higher. Uh, Warlock, I mean, you're kind of just there. You're really good at spinning a base, you know, with pets and whatnot. But I just, other than that, you know, I don't really see you carrying the game. You know what I mean? Uh, same thing with Esprit. I mean, you could get, you could spin, but ah, eh, kind of just all the way through. Dragon, this shit does a lot of damage, right? But what else are you doing? You know, nothing. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, I like this, man. I like this. I'm gonna lock it in. Okay. Um, if you think something else goes somewhere else, cool. I don't think so. I think this is a pretty solid list. I really do. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.